Yeah, I mean, so I'm teaching the Bronx, which I love. I'm excited about that. Um, coming up to the end of my second year, and I mean, you see a lot of things, right? Um, this whole thing about opportunity gap, achievement gap, you know, some people think it's not real or some some people don't really understand how really far away are these gaps. But when you're in the classroom and like you have 30 students that are having difficulty um, multiplying double digit numbers, something that you and I probably do every single day, um, you start to wonder like, what is causing this to happen? And my first instinct was teachers in the classroom for the simple fact that it's not that they don't know it, Oh wait, better said, it's not that they can't do it. It's just that someone has not been there to teach them it correctly, right? Because if I see someone that talks like me, looks like me, or at least understands the way I think, they're able to teach me better, right? It's just the way it is. Like, even when you, you're at work and like, there's a coworker that, you know, you're bumping heads or like, I don't really understand each other. It's because there's some type of barrier there. Right, but I, but you have this other coworker that you're man cool with for some weird reason, but the actual reason that you're cool with them is because you understand each other and you're able to relate. You know, which goes back to what we were talking in the beginning that relatableness. Right, for able to relate, we're able to have a very fluid and an easier way of communicating. So, I think what I came in my experience of just going through the whole students are coming from I didn't want to go in there and just teach because because anybody can do that I wanted to go in there and basically like change either it be one student two students wherever at the end of the day that's what I that's what I'm doing like I have their their lives in my hand basically and that's a lot to carry so it's like I could make it the best or I could make it the worst but like I have a lot to balance and I have to keep that in mind every day I'm stepping into the building and not force my ideologies on them but let them think for themselves and come to that conclusion because they're not walking in as a blank slate like they know a lot of stuff probably way more than you and I <laughs> and mm -hmm. we'll both be surprised because so old I'm just like I ain't not that old I'm in my 20s yeah it's funny because my, my students thought I was like 40 something <laughs> and in my head I'm like what all because I came in with a suit and tie the first day like come on everyone like look at this baby face like you got to be kidding me 